Scientists from the Institute of Geology and Mineralogy of the Siberian branch of the Russian Academy of Sciences, also known as IGM-SBRAS, have created synthetic diamond crystals that have unique optical centers. These crystals have the potential to serve as the foundation for quantum memory and data systems in the future. These new materials could lead to groundbreaking computing and safe data storage technologies by merging the famous toughness of diamond with precise light control at the quantum level. The achievement is not an isolated discovery. It is the culmination of years of research conducted at the same institute where researchers previously developed domestic diamond anvils. Single crystal diamonds that are capable of withstanding pressures exceeding 1 million atmospheres. These anvils created the technology and science needed to make very clear, high-quality diamonds by mimicking the extreme conditions found deep in the earth. Russian research centers depended on imported diamond anvils for high-pressure experiments prior to the implementation of sanctions. That changed when the Institute of Geology and Mineralogy developed a method to produce large, defect-free single specimens of diamond domestically. Scientists used their special BARs, or split-sphere, high-pressure machine to recreate the extreme conditions found deep within the Earth, with temperatures over 1,500 degrees Celsius and pressures much higher than several gigapascals. Dr. Yuri Palyanov, an associated member of the Russian Academy of Sciences, and a doctor of geological and mineralogical sciences stated that these diamond anvils are essential experimental instruments. They allow us to create the kind of pressure that exists literally in the Earth's core. More than a million atmospheres. With them, we study how matter behaves under extreme conditions, simulate geological processes, and even design new functional materials, he stated. The experience gained from producing flawless, high-strength diamonds for anvils became the cornerstone of the Institute's next step, engineering diamonds with controlled impurities for use in quantum technology. IGM scientists started experiments with impurity-doped diamonds, leveraging their expertise. The introduction of trace elements including nitrogen, silicon, germanium, and tin during crystal growth resulted in the formation of impurity vacancy centers, which are minute atomic scale defects that function as quantum emitters of light. These centers produce highly stable luminescence that facilitates the storage and retrieval of quantum information. The crystals that result are uniformly structured and devoid of inclusions, exhibiting exceptional clarity and structural order with a weight of up to six carats. The function of germanium in the process was a critical discovery, as revealed by Dr. Polyanov. We proved that under high pressure and temperature, molten germanium acts as a catalyst for diamond synthesis. The diamonds we obtained contain new optical centers with unique luminescent characteristics. Even at room temperature, the emitted photons remain within a narrow spectral range. The germanium impurity directly influences the nature of these centers. This discovery establishes the Siberian Institute as one of the foremost centers of quantum materials research worldwide. In addition to being highly sought-after gemstones, diamonds are becoming one of the most appealing resources for quantum information technologies. Diamonds are capable of hosting quantum bits, or qubits, that exhibit exceptional stability at ambient temperatures and robust resistance to external interference in contrast to conventional semiconductors like silicon or gallium arsenide. This exceptional property provides them with a unique advantage in the development of next-generation quantum devices. Each impurity vacancy center in the diamond lattice functions as a unique quantum system capable of emitting or storing photons that encode data. These centers are optimal for various sophisticated applications due to their resilience and precision. In quantum memory, they help store information in photon states, which makes it possible to quickly and accurately get data back. Potential applications include medical diagnostics, geological exploration, and defense technology, as quantum sensors can detect the faintest magnetic or electric fields. 
They also facilitate secure, high-performance quantum internet systems by providing efficient, low-loss photon transmission in optical communication. Russian-made diamonds are unique because they can keep strong luminescence and photon coherence at room temperature, while many materials used in quantum optics need to be kept cold. This accomplishment is a critical milestone in the transition from laboratory experiments to real-world applications, thereby facilitating the practical deployment of quantum technologies. The same high-pressure, high-temperature synthesis technology is the source of both conventional diamond anvils and the new generation of quantum-grade crystals. The critical distinction between these materials, which directly influences their properties and applications, lies in the management of impurities and lattice defects. The mechanical strength of diamond anvils is optimized, rendering them suitable for high-pressure experiments and advanced materials research. This is achieved by producing them as ultra-pure, defect-free crystals. On the other hand, quantum diamonds are precisely doped with particular impurities, including tin, germanium, silicon, or nitrogen. This controlled doping enables optical activity and luminescence, thereby facilitating their use in cutting-edge disciplines such as quantum computing, photonics, and data storage. Russian HPHT technology demonstrates its versatility by producing diamonds that are both optically active and mechanically robust. This proficiency is a significant accomplishment in the field of modern crystal engineering, as it facilitates developments in fundamental materials science and broadens the potential for practical quantum technology and photonic applications. Experts believe that Russia could become a major player in the global market for quantum materials if industrial-scale production of these diamonds can be accomplished. The Institute's researchers predict that these crystals may be implemented in secure communication systems and commercial quantum memory devices within the next five to seven years. The Institute is working with international partners to test how well these materials can work with light and to explore how they might be used in quantum processors and sensors. In the meantime, the high-pressure, high-temperature growth process continues to fulfill two objectives, simultaneously stimulating innovation in quantum electronics and furthering foundational research into planetary interiors. The narrative of IGM's diamond research is a unique case in which a single material serves as a bridge between two scientific extremes, the most advanced frontiers of computation and the deepest strata of the Earth. The Institute has demonstrated that the same element can unlock mysteries within the quantum domain and beneath the planet's crust by mastering the controlled growth of diamond crystals. This fusion of quantum physics and geophysics is indicative of a new era in Russian materials science, in which traditional geological knowledge is combined with cutting-edge technological innovation. In conclusion, the Institute of Geology and Mineralogy's achievement in the development of diamond crystals for quantum memory is a major step in the global sprint toward practical quantum computing, as well as in Russia's pursuit of technological sovereignty. The narrative originated in the depths of the Earth's interior, where it sought to replicate its internal pressures. It has since broadened to include the invisible realm of quantum bits and light particles. Russian scientists have demonstrated that one of nature's most resilient materials may also become its most intelligent, as evidenced by their development of luminescent diamonds that can store quantum information and diamond anvils that replicate the planet's core. If you find this video informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take our membership to encourage us.